Hi everyone. Now, the most viewed video on my current YouTube channel is this one, Is the Royal Baby a Real Born Doll? Where I question the authenticity of the baby. As some people have been tweeting that it looks awfully like a real born doll. But I'm pleased to say we can now put all questions of whether or not the baby is real to bed because we have an absolutely credible witness. Ellen DeGeneres has revealed how she got to feed baby Archie. In fact, I think it's quite an amusing comparison picture they've got there. Uh, is she saying that the baby wasn't invisible? Just she was just holding thin air. Let's see, let's read the story. In fact, we get to watch a video of Ellen talking about her experience. That is the most important thing, of course, because she has to validate its existence. Otherwise, why would she even bother telling us this? I fed Archie, I held Archie, I held Archie. Not, not like that, that. I, I knew how to hold it. Well, interesting little joke there, talking about the exchange rate. Is that perhaps how much the plastic phony doll costs? Seventeen dollars, fifteen pounds. Nice one, Ellen. Good joke. Um, do you want to see a picture of him? Yeah, come on, let's see. No, of course you don't. That's great, thank you for that Ellen. We can now put any doubts to bed. There's no way uh, this person would lie about anything or claim something didn't happen when it did. And you can see she's absolutely not pretending to be something she isn't. Um, we can read on a little bit. The Daily Mail elaborate on the video a little bit and the story showing us pictures of her at London followed by the publicly funded mansion that the Harry and Meghan are supposed to live in. Uh, she defends uh, the criticism that the couple come under. She said I hate it. I see them get attacked and it's not fair. They're two of the most down-to-earth, compassionate people. They're doing so much good for the world. Now remember that line? Um, Portia and I talked to them about all the conservation they're doing for wildlife. They're doing all this work in Botswana for elephants, and I love that. And they like what I'm doing for gorillas in Rwanda. So we're going, so we're going to all do something together. That suggests that uh, Harry is an animal lover. Although you don't have to look very hard to see pictures of him with a buffalo that he is supposed to have slaughtered. Although I would question whether this guy can even fire a gun. they probably got someone else to kill the buffalo and get him to stand by it. Just because it's good for his image. But we'll go back to the story. It comes after two generous defended Harry and Meghan last month over their use of private jets insisting they're only trying to make the world better yeah thanks for killing these animals for us harry keep doing that mate so does that clear up everything are we now happy to say we know that baby's real because ellen told us and of course she wouldn't lie be interested to hear your comments or questions on this thank you for watching